mixing genres and generations, all in one station. 91.1 FM, The Boss. In Conroe, in North Houston, in Huntsville, in Huntsville, in Willis, in Montgomery, in Cleveland, in Livingston, in Magnolia. They listen to KNLY 91.1 FM, The Boss. The program presented are submitted by members of our community and are a proud sponsor of KNY 91.1 FM. The views expressed do not necessarily reflect those of KNY 91.1 FM and its affiliates. Hey, welcome to Daily Buzz Radio Show. My name is Sydney Young. I am your host. This is Tressa McLean. Hi, guys. Good My morning. <laughs> Tressa, they're going to find us on the dailybuzzradioshow.com. Mm-hmm. Tressa McLean, what's happening today? It's Friday. It's You're cutting out early, aren't you? Hey, 3 o'clock. Oh, that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What's three. the difference? Okay, no. Oh, ah, ah, ah. don't treat me out like that. <laughs> no, right. today's Friday, and um, it is getting yeah. kind of chilly outside today. It is cold. How, how cold is it? In the woodlands, how cold is it? It is 54 degrees and raining Ooh. here in the woodlands. Did you um, bring a jacket? You know, all I brought was my sweater, and I it's my shoulders are exposed, so I'm going to have to run to Her the car. Her shoulders are exposed. Us old people, see, we <laughs> catch diseases quick, so we wear jackets, okay? I, I need to invest in one of those. Tressa, we have some very special people on air today with us. Talk about our guests we today. We do, we do. We have um, Vanessa Perry today. Uh, she is with Impeccable Credits. And then we are going to Skype with Bert Martinez Bert again. Bert Martinez! And he's going to talk to us a little bit about um, money for lunch, right? Money for lunch. He's going to talk about some financial stuff today, which is pretty cool. You can find us on Facebook Live, YouTube Live, all the social media live spots. But go to the Daily Buzz radioshow.com and join us live there too hey let's go ahead and bring in our first guest i haven't seen her in a long time honestly i know this person she's a tremendous businesswoman in the greater houston area i was so proud to finally make contact with her again and so i've been talking to her about getting on the show she's extremely busy so we're able to get her here i've not physically spoke to her in person until about 10 minutes ago it's been like 10 years vanessa perry vanessa Hello. Hi. It's How been a you? long time. It has been a while. I got older. You got younger. What's going on with that? Huh? <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's been a while. Definitely. You know, you you got impeccable credit services. Yes. You guys have been going for like how many years now? Uh, 14. 14 years. Yes. Wow. 14 years. Now, wow. But you also, you got two offices. Yes. Where are your offices located? We've got one in the Woodlands mm-hmm. and we've got one um, in Houston. 3,100 Timmons, right 3, behind Lakewood Church. 3,100 Timmons, wow. Oh, right behind Lakewood. That's mm-hmm. that's a good location. Yeah. That's good because nothing's happened to you. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Lakewood Church. And, Joel uh, and, and, you know, Impeccable Credit Services is one of the few businesses in that industry that's been around the length of time that you've been around. What do you credit that to? Um, I think it's more of doing what we say we're going to do and not promising anything we can't mm-hmm. so if in matter of fact I have a family member that used you and their credit skyrocket my brother used you I forgot uh-huh. about that uh-huh. um, he still has good credit today believe it or not that's yes. good we don't <laughs> get a whole lot of our clients back or oh really not to Oh, yes. that's, well, that's good that you train them how to reprogram, I guess, on how they should do their spending, correct? Yes, we educate them on how they need to keep their credit in good shape. And if they lose a job or mm-hmm. something, we teach them how to be proactive. We, we do the whole thing. Now, a young lady like mm-hmm. Tressa here, she's uh-huh. fairly young. Fine, now she's making, now she's on my show, she's banking. I'm sure making sure <laughs> <you're talking. laughs> Maybe not, but, but we're trying to get there. Anyway, what advice would you give to somebody about her age that's starting out in life about finances? Um, definitely pay everything on time. Make sure you get some credit cards. You definitely want some revolving accounts so that your um, credit can go up. Mm-hmm. Um, as far as installment accounts, we need those accounts, which are like cars and houses, but they're not worth a whole lot on your credit. So right. I would definitely focus on the revolving accounts, establish them, pay them on time, and um, don't have any late payments because one of those mm-hmm. can be worth a negative 40 points on your credit. 40 points? Yes. 40 points. And you just said a car and a house doesn't do a big impact on your credit? Uh, 
there are things we need, but they're not mm -hmm. necessarily worth um, that many points. Revolving accounts are where the points are done. Revol like credit cards. So I need to basically keep up with my Victoria's Secret credit card. Ah, I need to keep up to with my Disney one, credit you card. You need to pay that one off <laughs> and leave it at a zero balance because that's like 26% Victoria's Well, you see, and I need wow. to pay off my Jim Bob's underwear shop a card, uh, you know. So uh, I'll get that one paid off right away. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Victoria's Secret. Oh, my God. Can buy some shop there? Okay. Yes, we just get course. a promo for Victoria's Secret. No, it's money. <laughs> uh, you know, here's another thing, too. When somebody gets their credit down to below 600 and they're making plans to say, you know what, we are going to purchase a home this time next year. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are the steps, without going through credit repair, they need to do mm -hmm. to prepare to get their credit where it needs to be? Well, first of all, you need a 640 to qualify for a home loan, and that's just to qualify. To get the going rate, you're going to need a 740 credit score. So they need and, 740 then? Yes. So just to give you a little bit of an idea of mm -hmm. the difference between a 640 and a 740 and what your rate is, on a $200,000 house, I've done the numbers on it, mm -hmm. and on a $200,000 house, if you go in at a 640 and get qualified, as opposed to get a 740, the rate you're going to get on a 740, guess how much money you're going to save within 30 years on interest alone? About 85,000, I'm going to say. At 97. 97, wow. Yes. Okay. Oh, wow. It's almost a whole house. Tressa was getting ready to say 97. I could see it. it was right I, I was thinking 97 <laughs> in my mind. That's exactly it. Wow. So that, but here's the thing. Okay. But if I'm wanting to get into a home, wanting, I can't speak, and I promise my significant other, we're going to get this house, mm -hmm. and I'm a 640. I'm going to hit with some, with some, some issues with interest, uh -huh. but couldn't I refinance soon? Um, okay. First of all, you have to ask yourself as far as refinancing, mm -hmm. do you really want to get into a loan? and refinance it because the, co the costs associated with uh, refinancing mm -hmm. are pretty pretty steep. You mean you closing know? costs? Yes. So if you close on a home, a lot of clients come to me and they say, well, let's just get me to 640 mm -hmm. and then we'll continue. I'll get my house and I'll refinance. But mm -hmm. when you really um, do the numbers on it, mm -hmm. you're looking at, I mean, you're looking on a $100,000 house, maybe you know, five to seven thousand dollars closing costs. Are you serious on a hundred thousand dollar home? Depending on whatever it may be, because there's all these fees. You've got to pay the loan officer, the title fees, all of those. Remember, I used to be a loan officer. Oh, okay. And uh, so you're looking at closing costs. So you pay them one time, mm -hmm. but then your credit gets to a seven forty, and you're going to refinance. So you're going to pay another set of closing costs and in one year I mean that can be anywhere from ten to fourteen thousand dollars wow that's a lot of money wow. wow okay so the best route then is just hit it straight the first time correct yes. okay. just be patient wait an extra six months mm -hmm. get to the 740 get the going rate get the lower payment or the mm -hmm. bigger house whatever you want to do mm -hmm. and go from there what about those of us out there say, you know what, we want to be the next Grant Cardone. We want to go out and buy some property and turn around, sell it, and make some money. What do you need for that? Uh, you're probably going to need a score at least in the 700s, 700 mm -hmm. minimum. Um, I think 740 preferably so that you get the best rate. Mm -hmm. 740, really? Mm -hmm. Wow, okay. Uh, that's a, How long does it take to go from a 600 to a 740? Um, with our with our company, we, I'm pretty. I would say I'm. It's safe to say we can do up to 200 points within one year. 200 points yes. in one year, really? Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow, that's uh, that's incredible. Not a whole lot yes. of places can do that. Yes. But there's a there's a method to the madness. There's yes. a Betty Crocker secret you're not going to let out here. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, I mean, you just have to follow the directions. We work on. Um, getting the derogatory items deleted mm -hmm. and we also work on building the good existing trade lines and so you have to kind of put a team effort into that. Um, I'm not always nice about it but we get it done. I've heard. No. <laughs> <laughs> I will definitely duke it out you know as far as you want to go buy a what at what rate you know you're not doing that you know uh -huh. so but yeah my main concern is that we get everybody um, to the 740 and mm -hmm. so that they're actually being able to purchase their house and keep their house or oh, business loan or mm -hmm. whatever it is that they're trying to do. I'm going to say a mm -hmm. word. I want you to give me the first thing that spits out of your mouth when I say it. Okay. Fair Isaac. 
FICO. 740. <laughs> <laughs> the Fair Isaac, what's it, what's it called? Where, how, what's the FICO stand for? Do you know? Fair Isaac Credit Something. Ah, uh, you have me there. Yeah. Ah, we finally stumped you. Okay. Yes. But let me ask you this. As, do you understand? Their, no one knows their system, right? Um, no, but one of the things that is a big question everywhere is that everybody goes to Credit Karma and they go online and they go to TransUnion.com, Experian.com, mm -hmm. Equifax.com, and they all come out with different scores. And one of the things that um, you really need to understand is that the only place you're going to get a real score mm -hmm. is through a mortgage company. Typically, really? those ones are, if you pull through a car company, you're going to get a similar credit score, but they only pull two and they, um, they are going to um, add car credit on it, how you pay your car. So your credit could be a 650, but you pay your car as well, so it might be a little bit higher. Mm -hmm. um, when you go apply for a credit card, the bank actually pulls your credit and that's a real score. However, that score is one score because the bank's only going to pull one score. So you're talking like a tri-merge uh, report? A tri-merge mortgage wow. report. Okay. That's the only real one. All the ones that you have online, mm -hmm. you check a little box mm -hmm. and they have a disclaimer that states they don't use a FICO system, they use their own simulating system. And oh, but no one reads what that. that is. Everyone checks the box, but nobody reads it. Oh, I'm not so that. even um, Experian, TransUnion, they're all third party. So, mm -hmm. um, those scores wow. that you receive, uh -huh. that's why you have clients that are mm -hmm. looking and they're going, but I have a 650, and then mm -hmm. you look at the tri-merge and it's not. Wow. Mm -hmm. And it can be higher, it can be lower, it's all over the place. Pretty interesting stuff. We were just talking about that, remember? Okay, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, the, the finance stuff that you're talking about, credit stuff, it's something that's not a daily conversation unless you're in that industry. Right. But yeah. it's so important to know in the back of your mind. Oh, yeah. You know, uh, to, for everything. If you want to buy a car, mm -hmm. you got to know this stuff. If you want to buy a house, you got to know this stuff. You know, oh, you yeah. want to get a card, you got to know this stuff. So, young lady, we're going to educate you today. Oh. Hey. <laughs> no, I'm... That This is a lot of education for me. When I, when I went to go buy my first vehicle... Um, I was just like blown out of the water about just everything, you know, and, and I didn't really have a lot of credit, mm -hmm. you know, built up yet. So it was, it was a pretty interesting experience for me and, uh, you know, doing it basically on my own. And then, you know, with the help of my mom, uh -huh. it was like, but you know, my mom can only help me so much, mm -hmm. you know? So, um, so, but yeah, it was, it was pretty interesting, but there's so much more that goes into you know, actually building your credit, like you said, it's not so, just house and cars and stuff like that. It's yeah, it's. I mean, you mm -hmm. save money on your insurance. Um, you're going to save money on your car insurance, your home insurance. Um, there's so many things that you uh, save money on just by having good credit. You get the better interest rate on the vehicle loan. Life is just much better. It's much easier with good credit. You know, it, it mm -hmm. runs smoother. How do people get a hold of Vanessa Perry with Impeccable Credit Services? I love it. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Um, get a hold of us. Look at our reviews online. Um, you going to stick around with us while we talk yes. to Burt Martinez. Coming Absolutely. up, Burt Martinez. Do not go away. We'll be right back. The Daily Buzz Radio Show. The Daily Buzz Radio Show dot com. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Listening to KNLY New Waverly, Texas, 91.1 FM, the boss, La Hefa. 
Eight is Sidney Young with 91.1 FM, The Boss Radio. Join us every day at 12 noon on the Daily Buzz Radio Show, broadcast live on Facebook, YouTube, all the social media, and on 91.1 FM, The Boss. In Conroe, in North Houston, in Huntsville, in Huntsville, in Willis, in Montgomery, in Cleveland, in Livingston, in Magnolia. They listen to KNLY 91.1 FM, The Boss. El verdadero sabor del taco, estilo Sinaloa, con carne jugosa, ricas salsas y tortillas hechas a mano. Pronto en el norte de Houston, Bandido Taco. Patrocinador de la jefa, 91.1 FM. Mixing genres and generations, all in one station, 91.1 FM, The Boss. Hey, this is Sidney Young with the Daily Buzz Radio Show, broadcast live every day, Monday through Friday on 91.1 FM, The Boss. Join us. We're talking about everything going on in your community, bringing the community closer to you on 91.1 FM, The Boss, the Daily Buzz Radio Show. ¿Sientes que la calefacción o el aire acondicionado de tu casa o negocio no funciona? Los profesionales de NRG Spray Foam Insulation son la solución. Te garantizan ahorro hasta de un 50% en los miles de luz y gas. Con NRG Spray Foam Insulation, sella su casa contra cualquier tipo de animales. Por más pequeños que sean, deja de tirar el dinero. Dale un knockout a los miles de la luz y el gas. Llama al 936-444-6642. Al 936 4 444-6642 Repito, 936-444-6642 NRG Spray Foam Insulation Bolding Green, Living Green Patrocinador de la Jefa Welcome back to Daily Buzz Radio Show. My name is Sydney Young, along with Tressa McLean. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Hey, we also have our third co-host today, Vanessa Perry. Hi. Huh? Vanessa has a lot to say, if you've noticed. <laughs> we have. I hope we have. Hey, guys, we got Bert, right? Hey, you see? Bert, Bert, Bert. Bert are you there? Bert Martinez! Hey, Bert. Bert, hey, how you doing, man? Good, good. Can you guys see me okay? We can see yes, you, man. Can. Hey, hey, do me a favor, man. Come here. <laughs> man, that's, that, that's, uh... You got too much music. That's, that's of, you know what? That, that's a dream of mine to be able to comb my hair once again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right behind you, brother. All right, so I, I'm not, I'm not ready, you, man. Hey, Bert, what's... Now, since last Friday we talked to you, Trust has been blown away. She wants your autograph. She, can you send her an autograph, I've been, please? Hey, I've been waiting for uh, my own my own book, my own copy of my of your book, I Dominating the, the Mind. Dominating but I need, your mind? Yes, but I need you to sign it for me. All right, all right. Uh, okay. I'm glad you mentioned that. So, so if for those who do want uh, their own copy of my book, they can go to dominatingyourmind.com, and we did a special deal. Sydney and I talked yesterday, so if you go there now... You can get the book for free. Uh, it's uh, it's like uh, 20 bucks on Amazon, but you can go to dominatingyourmind.com. You can get it there for free. You just pay some shipping, uh, and I and and my publisher pays uh, pays for the book. So we'll do that uh, for the next uh, uh, cool. three or four days for uh, everybody listening to uh, the Daily Buzz here on La Jefa. <laughs> 91.1 I film the boss. The boss. Give me a radio voice, brother. The boss. The boss. There you go. Hey, Don't guess what? Live from Houston, Texas. Live from Houston, Texas. There we hey, go. Hey, guess what? Who else we have in the studio today? Vanessa Perry, who comes from the credit and financial industry. So I told her what me and you talked about, we're going to talk about today. So Vanessa has tons of questions for you. So Bert, tell me, man, let's talk about this holiday season coming up, the yays and nays. Why should I put it off till the first? Or maybe I shouldn't. What do you think? Well, you know, I think uh, this is the time of year where people start thinking about all the stuff that they didn't do this year, right? They're starting yeah. to say, oh, man, it's the end of the year already. I can't believe you got here so soon. And, you know, the older we get, time seems to speed up. And uh, and so we get further and further behind. And, and I think that there is this, this uh, what do you call it, this idea that, hey, I'm just going to put it off. I'm going to reset my goals, but I'm going to wait till the end of the year. I'm going to start my diet, but I'm going to wait till after the holidays. I'm going to write that book, but I'm going to wait until this or that. I'm going to start cleaning up my credit score, but I'm going to wait until the uh -huh. end of the, until the beginning of the year because I know I'm going to crank up my credit. 
And I think a lot of this happens to us because of, you know, I, I like to simplify it and say on some level it's because we're scared. Uh, mm -hmm. We are afraid of something. We're afraid that, hey, if I don't buy a bunch of presents for everybody, people are going to look down on me and I'm not going to be as, as well liked or as loved. And so therefore I'm going to sacrifice my credit. I'm going to sacrifice my financial peace of mine and get into a bunch of debt. Um, and of course, you know, we, we all regret getting into a bunch of debt for something as, you know, fleeing as Christmas. I mean, yes, Christmas is important. Yes, Hanukkah is important for those who celebrate Hanukkah or whatever holiday you celebrate, but understand that it's gonna be gone fairly quick and most of us do not remember what we got for Christmas. No matter how much <laughs> you want, isn't it true though? I mean, do you no, it's true. Oh, what do y'all think? You remember? But that's probably right, you get some Lamborghinis I, and things. Uh, if I had a Lamborghini for Christmas, I'd definitely you remember. remember. Yes, <laughs> one thousand percent. Definitely remember a Lamborghini for Christmas. But <laughs> for the most of, for, for you know, for the most part, we remember maybe who we did, who we saw for Christmas or the holidays, who we didn't see. I remember uh, who did not remember, buy me a present. <laughs> What's that? I remember the people that do not buy presents. That's who I remember. That's right. By the you way, know, you're on last year's list. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but you know what? If I remember correctly, Sydney, you got a present from me, but it just came a little bit later. Didn't you get like a free book or several I books? Did. I year? did. I did. I did. Okay. I, I admit, you gave me some books. Okay, man. Hey, if I'm putting something off, Bert, and I'm putting off to the first financially, what do you think is my motivation for not making that financial sense? Some people, oh, we're going to wait till after the elections. Now we're going to wait till after the first. Why is November, December not a good month to make a decision? You know, I think it is a good month to make a decision, but I think that all decisions, whether they're about health or wealth or relationships, take courage. It, it really takes, look, it, it takes courage to have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation with somebody that maybe you have to let go could be in your business could be in your personal life sometimes it, it, it's a uh, hard decision to look at yourself in the mirror and say man I am not doing what it takes to get my myself financially ready uh, to, to you know you know uh, that uh, again some you know making a sacrifice can be hard especially when you have young kids especially during the holidays and everybody's tugging on your shirt and on your heart and saying oh, this is what I want and daddy buy me this and mommy get me that and sometimes it's it's just a it's a scary tough thing to decide I'm not going to do this anymore I'm, I'm going to start taking control of my finances of my health of my weight of my relationships and as humans we hate to disappoint people. We hate confrontation. I think that's why people put it off. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to put it off for the next couple of months. I'm going to handle it come January. And, and, the, and the interesting thing about it, and Cindy, you and I talked about this, that it's almost normal. We, as business people, as humans, expect a lot of push during the next couple of months because it is the holidays. Mm -hmm. And so people are going to be saying to us, you know, let's handle this in January. Let's do it after Thanksgiving. And, you know... <laughs> How can you say no to that? It makes sense. I've got so much on my plate right now, plus the holidays are here. Let's just wait and do it after the holidays. It almost makes sense to do that. But I think that if you're serious, and I bet you, uh, you know, uh, most people would agree with me, and I'd like to hear what you guys think, but if you're really committed about getting on your track uh, financially or with your health or with your relationships, now is the best time to start. Tressa, what you think? think? Yeah. I mean, I agree. So you're starting, right? I, I mean, that means no. I've been, I've been pushing, I've been pushing, like, oh, I'm gonna start going back to the gym, you know, Monday, 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 and I, he's right. Like, why, why haven't I just started? You, you know, haven't what? said Today, what Monday? Exactly. Well, yeah, that's the issue is I haven't put myself like an actual date for it. But he's right. Why, why don't I just say no instead of Monday? I'm going today. Vanessa, do you procrastinate? I don't. You don't. I wake up at four o'clock in the morning. <sighs> that comes around twice on the clock. <laughs> oh, sorry. I do. I get up at four o'clock in the morning. I'm not a procrastinator. I'm a planner. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. I love Bird, did you hear that? I sleep in a little bit. Yeah, you're another four a.m.er. I know that for a fact. Yeah. Uh, wow, Bert. Let's talk about money for lunch real quick. Explain your program, your show. 
Well, okay, so my show, you know, somewhat similar to yours, Sydney. Thanks for the plug, by the way. Money for Lunch, moneyforlunch.com. And, and so I, uh, I've had Money for Lunch uh, for many years. Uh, started there in CBS, there in Houston, and then uh, we went independent. Um, we had a little, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, creative differences between myself and CBS. CBS came in and said, uh, we don't want to do your show anymore. Oh, okay. I was so, there at that uh, time, we I remember. To, uh, buy it from CBS and move on with it. And, uh, you know, we get to interview people. Uh, you know, again, we've had people like you mentioned Grant Cardone. Uh, we've had him on the show uh, as a regular. Uh, people like uh, Bill Bartman, Steve Forbes, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. We've had best-selling authors, some of the most creative entrepreneurs, innovators, inventors on the show. Money for Lunch is about, uh, you know, spending some time with some real movers and shakers. We like to inspire people to, uh, you know, better their business. Uh, better their 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 lives and that's what money for lunch is all about is just uh, getting some new strategies that uh, you can apply today I love that man money and uh, money for lunch .com, is that correct money for lunch .com, absolutely you can go there or you can just google money for lunch we're we're syndicated on iheart media we were the very first show independent show that was syndicated on I, on iheart media clear channel media whatever it's called today um, and uh, we're on about a hundred different uh, platforms now, um, and uh, you know I'm grateful that uh, we're able to do this for a living. It's, it's a lot of fun to be able to meet people. You know, I've talked about this before. Uh, you know, we're able to meet people that uh, literally all over the country that we would never get to meet, but for the fact that they come on our show and they say hello. And I've met some incredible people that way, and we've, and we've become friends. Man, now you've really made it because you're on the Daily Buzz show with us, huh? <laughs> you finally made it, man. <laughs> hey, Bert Martinez with the Money for Lunch. Bert, next Friday, my friend. Next Friday, we'll next see you Friday, then. Check out dominatingyourmind.com. Get your free book. Thank you, Sydney. Thank Woo, you, Vanessa. Bert. Thank you. Bye, Bert. We'll Bye, see you. Hey, Money for Lunch, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back. DailyBuzzRadioShow.com. Your In Conroe, in North Houston, in Huntsville, in Huntsville, in Willis, in Montgomery, in Cleveland, in Livingston, in Magnolia. They listen to KNLY 91.1 FM, The Boss. Mixing genres and generations, all in one station. 91.1 FM, The Boss. Estamos transmitiendo en vivo desde The Woodlands, Texas, al mundo. Esto es KNLY 91.1, la EFA. Welcome back, DailyBuzzRadioShow.com, City Young Tressa. Make lame. Yes. Hey, uh, let's talk about Hello. Monday's Hello. show before we get on out of here. Talk about Monday. Monday. It's going to be a, another manic Monday. Well, I'm glad you're excited <laughs> about it. All right, good. All right, she's pumped up. Uh, Dina Torres is with us Monday. She's going to talk about the fashion uh, world thing she has coming thing. Fashion show she has coming fashion up. Fashion show, uh, yes. We have guests lined up all next week. We've got some interesting people, roofing people. We got Who else we got next week, do you think? Um... Uh, we have uh, Archstone Roofing. We have Nano Seal. We have um, Janet, who's going to be here on Monday as well, mm -hmm. uh, from uh, the Woodlands Medical. And um, we're going to have Bird on Friday. We're going to have Kim from Out of the Darkness Walk. Ah, and She's guess who we're going to get back on the show? Vanessa Perry! We do. We need, we need we. Vanessa back on the yes, show. Yes, I will come back. All right, we're going to have you back. DailyBuzzRadioShow.com. Listen to us. Like us Monday through Friday at 12 noon. We'll see you on Monday. Have a terrific weekend. Have a great Bye -bye. weekend, guys. Woo!